<laughs> we live? Yeah. What about the language? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, we free. Okay. Y'all could just kept talking. Let's bring it straight to the table. This the EBL experience where we talk about the real shit. Everybody feeling it. Just go pick a topic. We got different of opinion here, so it's always popping. Everybody gonna be listening because we never stop it. We put on for the black businesses. That's part of the experience. We'll be talking about whatever you need to know. And if you rocking with us, that's no what else you need to go. Ho, tell them Uncle E. Tell them Lady B. Tell them about the TIG, we be talking politics, and we be talking streets, spilling all type of tea. And every show we talk about black history, we talking sports, man, championship reigns. We talking okay, athletes, you know? whoever got game. Yeah, we show the music. Is it this okay. or that? Let it be known, we put on for all things black. This is EBL, this is what we do. We expose the lies so we can talk about the truth. <laughs> What's your experience? Huh? Yeah. What's your experience? What's going on, everybody? This is your main man, Uncle E. Um, this is the EBL experience. Um, you blocking your camera, oh, first shit, of all. And second, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do my intro. Again. And second of all, your camera ain't even looking at you, ain't it? Ain't looking at why y'all ain't got me together. I'm trying to help you right now. That's the situation right now, man. Y'all got, got a little bit. Man, gotta be there for me. Yeah. Look, there you go. I'm take good. Care of yeah, you good. Take care of Uncle. Oh man, <laughs> you better take care of Uncle. Shit, Uncle need that. All right, I'm sorry for your intro. Go ahead. All right, shit. <laughs> Welcome to the EBL experience. Um, this is your main man, Uncle E. Uh, always to the left, I got Lady B. Yo. And to the well, not right, but straight. Usually he'll be on that side, but straight ahead, I got Doctor T. Yep. And I got a very, very special guest with us today, y'all. Um, I, I, fuck it, he's a comedian legend. I call him that oh, shit. Oh, shit, a legend. Oh, you know, shit, you know, I call him that joke. I mean, fuck it, I call him that. I appreciate it. You that. know, it's, it's Mr. Love. Brandon Haynes. Haynes. Yes, Mr. Sir. Brandon Haynes, how you doing today, my brother? Oh, man, I am good, happy to be here with y'all, man. The EBL experience. Sound like a bitch at Jake's conference, huh? <laughs> 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 That's just some detail I love it. I ain't nobody to dress up for the EBL experience. But man, I'm happy to be here. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for just allowing me to be a part, man. Oh, That's man. We appreciate it, you man. coming. Man, Thank pleasure's all coming. ours, brother. Thank this is on... Um, hey, wait. This is season one, two, three, three. episode seven. I think okay. it's eight, actually. Oh, it might be seven. Come I lied. on. Let me be, be right. Be let me be right. <laughs> said, let, let me be right for a change. Look, just look at Jerome, right. Jerome yeah. calling me, interrupting our uh, That's podcast a, intro. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Ooh. Nah. Jackie. Right. Um, everybody mics together. Everybody looking good. We black. Thank you, man. We black. We broke. You know? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard out here. It's hard out here. We're, it's hard out here goddamn man. recession. Mm. Shit. Mm-hmm. Shit. Big time. How y'all week been though? Everybody all right? Everybody we going fine? Yeah, I was off two days, so you mm, know. Mm, mm. That's always a blessing. I'm off a lot of days. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah it's about to be my 54 and a half job, and I call it 54 and a half because I'm going back to this job, so I can't count as a whole, so you gotta chop that bitch up. And now it's going to be half, you feel what I'm saying? I feel that's you. That's that new math, right? That's there. that new math right there. <laughs> you know, on this man, you don't carry the one. You just yeah. need that motherfucker there. Exactly. <laughs> you, you do be changing jobs a lot, Ernest. I can't let people keep on playing with me. <laughs> you know, you got to take a stand sometimes. Shit. Yeah, man. You take a stand every time. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in slavery for 400 years. <laughs> Fuck, this time mother take a goddamn stand. Exactly. Peace oh, out. Man. Hell yeah, shit yeah. on that. Oh, other jobs what you say? Thirty minute lunch. Oh, uh-uh. get, get yeah. this apron. <laughs> get this shit. You childish. All right. Um. So, T, you yes. know, you gonna start? What is that? Uh, I was checking something. something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you, you good? Yeah. Okay. Um. You ready to get us into the black spotlight? Yeah. Yeah. So the black spotlight for this show is. Is a, uh, a brother we all know, you know, you know we all know him. He's one of the goats as far as uh, baseball. So when I say goat in baseball, who comes to your mind? I don't um, watch baseball King really. King Griffey, King Griffey, um, damn dude, Jackie Robinson, Barry Bonds, 
Barry Bonds, yeah. Barry Bonds. Bonds. Okay, so all Barry those dudes don't. Okay, I actually think it was some of those players are better than this player. Than I, <laughs> but <laughs> for the sake of the segment, this yeah, dude was the, <laughs> this dude is the goat, and uh, his name is Babe Ruth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> I know I got a question, but I'm gonna go ahead. You know I mean? go is ahead. he black? Huh? Babe Ruth was black. Yes. Damn. He was I'm black. It's not. It's a. It's a rumor. What's the rumor? A very, very good rumor. It actually, exactly backed up by like um, facts. Okay. But you know, the, the man's dead. You know, you can't ask him. Mm. He's like one of the things that's not gonna really be solved. Uh, so he Creole. Oh yeah. Passe blanc. Passe yeah. blanc. Like if you really look at the man, you know, you look at his lips and his nose, they they similar to ours, and. Uh, there's a, a Hall of Fame baseball player called uh, Ty Cap. Ty Ty Cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, from back when he said he said they were trying to room him and Babe Ruth up together for like an All Star game or whatever. And he said he quote he said I would never pretty much sleep in the same room as a nigga. I never have and I never will. Wow. Mm. And a lot of times that Babe Ruth had to sit in different dugouts. A lot of people don't know that. Damn. Right. And Babe Ruth wasn't you know. A lot of his teammates didn't really like like him, um, but in order for him to play, he had to pass his wife. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. And right. there was no Jackie Robinson. Man, Jackie yeah. Robinson came yeah. later. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. he actually had to pass his as wife. But there's a rumor that yes, uh, and it's backed up by facts, newspaper articles that this man was treated as a black man. Mm. Wow. At certain points in time, you know, it's even like, though he was passing for white, he was passing for white, uh, but it's not like Jackie Robinson where you just, yeah, you knew you very dark, you very dark skinned. You, everybody knew you was everybody a nigga, everybody knew yeah, you was yeah, a nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. he kind of passed sometimes, yeah. you know, some people knew, and they, you know, they they, 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 they either said something. Mm-hmm. And when they said something, you was like, yeah, they treat him like a nigga. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to be around him. Right. You know. That's crazy. So, yeah, that is my... Uh, hey, check this hey. out. So check this yeah. out. I just read this. Well, not read. I'm doing an audio book because I can't read. But <laughs> Ryan Holiday, this guy, Ryan Holiday, he has a book called Discipline is a Key or something like that. Uh-huh. I put it on my Instagram. Long story short, he had this thing about Babe Ruth. He was saying how his... He was so talented, which, and I'm looking at, okay, he might have been black because he was really talented. He was above bar par, above all the athletes out there, but his eating habits and his diet and his lifestyle would mess him up. Mm-hmm. He would have been, his records would have been way farther than it was. If but he would, yeah, he would eat like a, a fucking a gallon of milk, a um, dozen eggs. That's for breakfast of whiskey and all this stuff. He had to oh, start yeah, yeah. eating that. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Had, I had did a report on him in yeah. elementary and did yeah. in his book that he yeah. had some bad ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at the end of his career, he was like, he told Lou Gehrig, he was like, look, man, if I would have had, because Lou Gehrig was like this, this disciplined guy, mm-hmm. he wasn't no nonsense. He said, if I would have had Joe Habits, I'd be, would I'd be the all, all Certified goat, yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, yeah, that might be, yeah, some, um, yeah, yeah, like me, just overindulged. <laughs> yeah, that's evidence. She was black. Yeah, I, I was right. also. I'm changing. Yeah, and right. gout got my mind right. I stopped smoking. Oh, that gout. Oh, that gout ain't nothing like. That. See you, boy. Yeah, See you. Yeah. Know. Yeah. I have a friend of mine that got it. He was, this motherfucker was like six five, two hundred fifty pounds, big dude. And he was crying like a baby. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's yeah. like kidney stones. Kidney stones. Yeah, yeah. in your in your foot. Oh man. <laughs> He's in your foot. Had in my big toe, man. Damn. My daughter had the audacity to grab that shit. Oh, what? you whooped her, huh? No, man, I can't hit my baby. Okay. But I gave her the eyes of of, of Jericho. They call it the King's disease. They call it the King's disease. Huh? They call it God the King's disease because all the people that used to eat and live people, lavish, yeah. Yeah, they live good. That's who got it. Well, that's a fucking lie because all. <laughs> <boy. laughs> <laughs> you know, living lavish. <laughs> living lavish. Living lavish. Living lavish. Living lavish. Yeah, see, living lavish. Living lavish. Living lavish. Everybody gone? Steakhouse. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. gotcha. So, uh, you know, we want to ask us a few questions or whatever, yeah. Mister Brandon, if that's all right. With you. That is all right with me. Man. I'm happy to be here. All right. So yeah. I'm up. I'm up next. Okay. Well, I'm up first. So comedy. Why? Yeah. Like, what What brought you into comedy? 
Man, I'm going to tell you, I was always that dude at like family gatherings uh -huh. and just take over family gatherings. Right. Mm. Just be the one always doing that kind of stuff and just always talking. And I realized that even as a kid, I was like, you know, I wasn't the smartest kid, but I was speaking at the graduation of my elementary school and shit like that. And just doing, I was always speaking and always being funny. And so family members always say, man, you ain't getting comedy, you ain't getting comedy. And I'm like, uh, I thought you needed like a manager, mm -hmm. fucking audition tape. Right. All you got to do is show up at an open mic. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shit is crazy. It's, I thought you needed some extra shit. So the funny thing was, instead of doing comedy, I got into church real heavy. Mm -hmm. Became a minister. Became a pastor of a small church. It wasn't a big church. It was like five people, six people. It was a little night walk. And then I realized, I said, man, it's not me. You know, they talking about, they were talking about pray for the saints. I thought they were talking about the football team. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, niggas ain't catching shit, man. Thought, he said they ain't catching shit. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we got to pray for the saints. I'm like, yeah, you sure do. Shit, they ain't catching. Why we got to pray for the saints? Yeah, I'm like, what you talking about the saints you talking about? So, and I realized, like, you know, that really wasn't my, my thing. Right. right. And so, like, after um, COVID happened, and I told myself, I said, look, when the world opened back up, I'm going to the comedy club. And my wife was like, how are you going to do that? What you, you, don't have a, you don't have an agent. And, you know, I thought it was this whole process. Mm -hmm. It's not. And so I went and had, like, you know, five minutes of jokes and just bomb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I got that one laugh. <laughs> and somebody funny said, man, you got something. You need to you need to come back, mm -hmm. and I kept coming. Had back. to work on yeah, it. Yeah, just kept coming back, kept mm -hmm. coming back, and um, and so you know, like I said, I always been funny. I had an aunt that passed away, and she would always tell me, "You need to get in comedy." I was like, ah, "Nah, I'm a, you know, I don't know about that." And then, like I said, when COVID happened, and you realize how fragile shit is, mm -hmm. how she could be going like, "Bam!" Oh yeah, are like, you rolling one day, and then get in your house, bitch. Don't come out yeah. until we <laughs> say it. Yeah. And you realize, okay, I need to get my shit together. Yeah. And so I just tried it, man, and it just took off from there. And just networking with people, being cool with folks, talking to folks, just connecting and doing shows, and you know, just doing stuff. So, you okay. know, it's, it's crazy how it happened. Yeah, because I remember you, you, you were definitely like one of the, the people that stuck out on my timeline. Like everybody on Facebook mm -hmm. tries to be funny. Everybody's mm -hmm. a comedian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. yeah you yeah. were definitely like one of those people that yeah. stuck out on my timeline. And I knew you before, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, you started comedy. Yeah. And yep. when you say you was gonna do comedy, I was like, yeah, bro, that's like and that's another so thing. you. That's like that's so you. Yeah, that's another thing. Like people will tell me, oh man, you miss your calling. Why are you on? Why are you working at City Hall? Why are you doing this? You need to be doing comedy. And but I thought it was this whole process I had to go through. Mm -hmm. right. I thought you had to be hazed and fucking initiated and some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it in my mind more than what it was, right. mm -hmm. and it just wasn't all that process to get in. But like you said, people will be all on my Facebook. Yeah, you need to, you need to go. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. But it just happened, man. Mm -hmm. It just, it just happened like organically, like you said. You know, it just came together. You know. So, so yeah. when you're writing jokes and, uh -huh. and things of that nature, where do you draw your comedic inspiration from? Like, where does, oh, where does man. it come from? Yeah, life, life. Um, I got two kids, um, a wife, side chick. You go hard on your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go hard on your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 my wife see this shit. <laughs> just playing. Oh, yeah, just playing, man. You go hard on it. Deliver. But um, so just life, man. Life, the kids, experience. Um, like it's crazy how like, so my kids they go to these all white schools and stuff, and that just whole. Like learning that's a about joke life. in yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole five, ten, <laughs> fifteen minutes right there. Just that whole dynamic of injecting. Because like I grew up in the seventies, I didn't see. I told people I didn't see white people till like I was like in high school. I mean at LSU. Mm. Damn. And so you know I went to Saint Paul, went to a school over here. I didn't. No, I, didn't, I thought white people was aliens. Right. It was strange. <laughs> right, right. And then the LSU, you meet them and stuff. So, but now like our kids, they just. Normal for them, mm -hmm. yeah. so that whole big old thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things that you could draw from comedy mm -hmm. and shit experiences, life experience. You feel like you could draw from anything? Yeah, pretty much. Stuff that happened that was bad, mm -hmm. that 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 looked like it was shitty, but then you turn it around and you could draw some out of that, you know. So it all works out, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. so I um we need to know mm -hmm. your top five. You know, on stage comedian. I got no notes. I got my goddamn. This motherfucker oh, he, wrote this shit. <laughs> <man. laughs> he got the notes. Like when, when he hit me up, I'm like, oh shit, hold up. I gotta <laughs> think about this shit. Yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. I, I, I told them. Uh, I get asked that a lot. Yeah. I told them if you don't have a certain person on there, then you gotta go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure though. So I don't, I don't care what he had to get yeah, fired. Yeah, but he on that. Okay. You gotta be on it. And I'm gonna and, and um I'm gonna throw this in. After right. you do your top five, I want to hear your underrated stand up comedian. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that's, that's all. That is yeah, a good one. That's, that's a good one. one. Underrated. That's a good one. All right, but we ready. We ready. All right. Okay. Cool. Top five. My number one, man. And I okay. I'm gonna give you. I think I'm gonna keep hitting the shit. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. <laughs> I like people with a pen that can write jokes and stories and the whole shit. Mm-hmm. Like you can get on stage and act an ass and that's good. Mm-hmm. But that's like once in a once a every blue moon that really lightning hit and it go off. You know what like I'm saying? Like my gaps. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to say that but I didn't want to say it on podcast. I see. Like, I would like <laughs> <Gaps. Gaps. laughs> I see. But yeah my gaps he hit and miss. Right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that shit be balling and like oh wow. And then sometimes we're like okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it ain't working. So this is my top five. Okay. Richard Pry number one. You gotta give it to brother Richard man. Yeah. Okay. But that's my top five. I mean that's my top one. Because even though he didn't write all of his jokes, but his deliverance, his, uh, his the movies, the comedy specials, the NBA, the NBC program he had, mm-hmm. the show he had, he got yeah. canceled and shit. You just can't. That's like the standard mm-hmm. where you need to be. Now his lifestyle was crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, on the outside, shit. you know, you know, Richard Pryor, <laughs> he was wild, right? Richard Pryor was hitting anything, but you got it. <laughs> but his comedy was off the chain. Mm-hmm. This is may shock y'all. This is for me because I was born in the seventies. Mom's Mabley. I don't know if y'all know her. Really? She was just old lady. Sound familiar? Yeah, she was an old lady. She would come out, and she was like in the sixties, but she was talking about sleeping with white men, crazy <laughs> shit. Like I don't fucking know old man and all. And she would dress up. She was really a beautiful woman, but she would dress up with a hat and these old house clothes and come on like an old lady. Oh, you tell me. I've heard of talk, her. Yeah. I've heard yeah. of her. And she was she was beautiful. She was a beautiful comic. My third one, um, Louis C.K. Mm-hmm. Even though he was jacking off in front of women, <laughs> you know about Louis. Y'all hear about Louis? Y'all hear about Louis C.K.? He got canceled. I don't even know who yeah, this is. Yeah, it's a white guy. Check him out. Google. Yeah. Remember all that Me Too shit was going on? Nah, I never heard of him. Yeah, it okay. was. He was a he's a cold. He got some Netflix specials. He cold. But what happened was, he was asking women, asking female comics to come in the room and watch him jack off. Yikes. And they felt like this motherfucker is weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is and weird. So they, <laughs> me too. Them, but his shit is cold. He coming back on the scene. Um, third, my fourth is um, David Chappelle. David mm-hmm. Chappelle, okay. yeah. So. He always solid. Um, I love that he can he can write jokes. He can write stories. He has freedom that he can say what he wants. He can leave the comedy scene, go off. Do his own thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When he kicked, when he kicked the Comedy Central to the curb, he mm-hmm. said, "Look, you know what? I'm not feeling it. I'm Fifty million dollars on the table, That's blah, a big blah, blah. Yeah, and now mm-hmm. he on Netflix making twenty million dollars for a special and all that. It's you not a lot saying? of people who can say what they want yeah. in this day and age, you know. Exactly. Dave, but Dave is one of those people. Exactly, he can say whatever he yeah. want. And fourth or well, fifth on the list is um a guy that he freestyles and he doesn't write jokes. But his mind is so sharp, and that's earthquake. I like earthquake. Ooh, earthquake. I like earthquake. earthquake. I like earthquake. I like earthquake. I like earthquake. I like him oh, on uh, everybody. He's Chris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And he got Big the and he got yeah, he got the stuff. But his comedy specials, like I heard him on a podcast, Joe Rogan. He was saying he don't write jokes because he started out as a as a comedy show producer. Right, I heard that. Yeah, and on down south. Yeah, down south. Uh huh. Yeah, but he got blackballed. And so he had to go up there and make material, mm-hmm. and so he just put it in his head, you know. So Damn. Yeah, 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 that's um. I'm gonna give you a pass. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I missed it. I missed your man. <laughs> no, you Mac. missed him. Oh shit! Nah, nah, I'm about to go. Okay, I'm about to go. <laughs> How I miss Bernie Mac. God, it's only five. It's yeah. only five. Like, Bernie, yo, yo, yeah. I saw Bernie Mac, life. man, in the '90s. In the '90s, dude, at the Singing Theater. I forgot who opened up for him. And um, he killed. Yeah. He was killing some all people in the aisle, fucking holding his side, right. yeah. running out. And I was dating this girl, and she was like, "This is too nasty. This is too horrible." Because he was talking about coming in the door buck naked in front of Jehovah's Witnesses and shit. <laughs> I remember she that was joke. crazy. She was crazy. Yeah. She walked out. Mother walked out. Yeah. She called walked somebody out? and left. 
Damn. And I'm sitting there by myself laughing, dude. Dying. Yeah, I'd have let yeah. her ass go too. Yeah, I was like, nah. I was like, this that's is before cell phones. Phone she called somebody. Yeah, I don't know how she did it. God damn, pay phones. Well, they had pay phones all over the place. Call somebody to collect. You know what I'm saying? Go. It was like our first date. I'm mm-hmm. like, what goes? I was like, damn. I paid my damn money, bitch. You on the grave? You're right, right, right. Already missed out on your ticket as it is. Yeah, I ain't get no ass anyway. Shit, you can go. <laughs> get right. up out of here. I mean, we appreciate you sharing your um, yeah, experiences with us and stuff like that. Underrated. Oh underrated. yeah, the underrated. Oh man, um, I'm gonna say my thank you. I'm gonna say my first, my my, my most underrated comic that a lot of people don't really like is Chris Rock. For yes, some reason, he loved Chris Rock. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, uh, you say Chris Rock sometimes. You're like, well, he's all right. No, Chris Rock got a hell of a pen. Yeah, I love Chris His Rock. Delivery. Yeah, I mean, I you love the Robitussin. Yeah, yeah. But this is yeah. the thing you can tell by his TV show and his movies that he come on, Pootie Tang. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That you can tell that he can write like a motherfucker. He can write, yeah, he can write. And he can deliver. Pretty yeah. much like Pootie Tang. I didn't say I ain't like Pootie <laughs> Tang. I didn't say that. That's not what I said. <laughs> I like Tang. I like Pootie Tang. I more just more don't get it. One of the average persons. Yeah, it is. Oh, Pootie Chris Rock was a beast, man. He still already killed at the um, he killed him at his he just did a comedy special down there. And that what And he was at the singer about two weeks ago. Damn, really? Really? It was Chris Rock was at the singer too. Shit, he did two years of five and Saturday. Damn. And I heard he killed my boy Terry Scott. Oh, and Dave Chappelle Terry always Scott. around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I like him and Dave Chappelle, like yeah. tight yeah. knit to and me. And also, you know, a lot of people um, fell off on my man. But I like Kevin Hart, man. Kevin Hart to me is underrated for his comedy. People are like, oh, I man. Like, I don't you like think he's underrated? I don't uh, like his stand-up, but I like him. Yeah, yeah. I he, see where you're going there with that. Up. Oh, he ain't funny no more. See, mm. the, the, like, the thing with Kevin to me <laughs> is he got commercialized. He became mm-hmm. a brand. But mm-hmm. once he became mm-hmm. a brand, he got to watch what he see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. So he can't be raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you yeah. should be to me as a comic. I expect you to be raw. I don't give a fuck. I feel like his... Um, I'm a grown little man. Stand up was, was the yeah. funniest, yeah. one of the funniest he ones I ever seen. He was wrong. He was wrong. He was able to, yeah, it was very early was, on. Yeah, for he him. was able to say what he wanted to say, mm-hmm. and like, cause um, somebody was talking to him. He was like, "Well, I can't do all that because I'm a brand now." Oh, with the brand. weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen that? Yeah, I'm a brand. I'm about like, man. I mean, I get it, but oh, that was uh, it was on a podcast. Drink, um, drink, drink, champs. drink champs. Yeah, it was on drink champs. Yeah, I don't want to be that famous. Nah. I mean, I want the money. And long, right. That's yeah, my part. I, I'll take the money. But motherfucker, yeah. I gotta stop smoking. Exactly. I can't do nothing. I'm good. I gotta watch. You ever notice that he don't comment on nothing on his Instagram? And mm. like he don't comment on it. He just posts right. advertising. Hey, I'm doing this. I got this brand. I got this liquor out. Shorts. Yeah, yeah. I got my shorts out. Shorts look good. I'm working out. But he don't be I like. I mean, you got all this, this money, but no freedom. Him. Right. Yeah, that's a thing. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. Be like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Fucking, uh, music <laughs> <party> back, <yo. laughs> crazy. I don't want to be that famous. Nah, never. Yeah. Never. Well, I just we want to be famous enough to go at Rouse and somebody ask me for a picture. There you go. <laughs> so, that's all that's all you go. Going to going yeah. to Oak Wood, be like, yeah. oh, you are all. Yeah. 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 That's what you call it. That's all I want. Yeah. Black yeah. people always say, wish you would call it. Man, you wish you would call it. You don't want people having to shut down the stores in the yeah, mall. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That yeah. shit happened one time. We was in the mall, man. Well, not shut down. But me and my kids was in the mall. We was, one, we was in um, Lakeside. And it's laid on Facebook. She said, you stupid as hell. You stupid as hell. My dog thought the lady was like, you know how black people do. Mm. We don't see you funny. We said, man, you're a crazy motherfucker. And my dog was like, whoa, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> and I was like, no, she's showing love. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, that tripped me out. That's all okay, going cool. to school with them white kids. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Don't, yeah. She don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you had an active shooter or some shit. You into the internet comedy and all of that? Like you, yeah, you do stuff? Yeah, I don't hunting? do, nah, I can't, I don't do skits and stuff. I mm-hmm. love them. I love, I love how hot Davis. Man, y'all follow this dude named Jack is funny. Yeah, my, um, I do. That motherfucker really crazy. Yes. That's my funniest, that's my favorite yeah. one. Do you, do you, do you think they deserve the title as comedian? Um, yeah. Cause they're making people laugh, right? And it's a thing, but to translate it from the stage, from to the that's hard you know, to do. Yeah, Two different things. To yeah, Two hard. different things. And, and I could yeah. put on a point with that. It so got a lot how of people. Feel about, I guess these people from social media uh-huh. kind of just coming up. I guess you was kind of say too fast, not paying. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And just 
pop up, boom, they right next to like a dude that's been headlined. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, a, yeah. like, like a, a, like a, like a, just yeah. hilarious maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like They're not funny, funny to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not funny to me. And it's all, it's all going to shake off. You know, eventually. Saying? Yeah, it's all going to shake off. Cream rise to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Because, but like, you know, my thing is, if you could do it on social media and get a million likes and shit like that. That's dope. I don't know if I could do that. But then at the same time. It's hard for you to come and build 20 minutes and go on stage and deliver it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can be an internet comedian, but they got stand-up comedians that can go in front of a room of, front, yeah. in a room of strangers and just kill it. Yeah, because it's the point, like, like I tell yeah. people, people at tell me the same shit, but yeah. it's like, man, you got to... It's the difference being natural, funny, and making Bruh. people laugh. Yeah. Like, you got to yeah, make yeah, yeah. people laugh. Yeah, I, I, I thought about that, like, the first time, like, people say, oh, man, you're on Facebook. Oh, you're funny. And then I went to a club and I, I bombed. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, I just might be Facebook funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like saying that for a while. I'm just Facebook funny. Right. Yeah. You had to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ah. Yeah, you, you got know, humble. Yeah, you got humble. Mm-hmm. We're glad you went back, bro. We're glad mm-hmm. you went yeah. back in there. Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't have did that shit. Yeah. You got to have. A lot experience. of people would have did it the first time. And left it alone. Right. Yeah. But to go back a second time, yeah, that's a lot. And of I went back, man. That's a lot of golf. I went to one show. I thought, you know, you know this guy named Red Bean, big old guy, big huge guy. He's a comedian in New Orleans, and he has a show. Uh-huh. And so I went. I had my little jokes on my little notepad, my little thing. And I went to the show, paid five dollars, and I thought it was like an open mic. And I was like, when I get in line, he was like, nah, man, this ain't no fucking open mic. <laughs> this is a book show. And he basically was like, get your ass out of here if you think you're just going to run on stage. Right. And I'm like, damn, this ain't, you know, I kind of got a reality check, you know. Right. And then I went, um, you know, went back to Comedy House. That's where I got my start at, Comedy House Nova. And I tell people, if you want to get a start on Wednesday nights, they have an open mic. It starts at 7, 8 p.m. Sign up is at 7.30. And, they, and it's a real supportive crowd. Mm-hmm. Like you got they got comics in there and they got mm-hmm. people, but they'll support you. They just won't boo you and shit and you know, they'll be silent if you bombing, but they'll support you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what it's all about. It's like church. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come like a bad singer, shit. Yeah, yeah, come on. Take your time, baby. Take your time. Take time. <laughs> and you can do it. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, you know? And you feel like and like but if you do if you get too loud, you feel like you got that Eddie Murphy because the way they got it set up, they got a spotlight and all the Seats are pointing. You know how chicks, they got people with their back to you. Where is that? Yeah. Common House is on Fulton Street. So it's really built for common. Yes. Yeah, okay. You know, like Dean Fulton? Yeah, Apris, Apris, Apris. Fulton Apris. Place where they have all the concerts at me now? No, okay. okay. You think about yeah. Fillmore? Oh, I'm so You know sorry. where that Bowling Alley is downtown? <laughs> yeah, oh, right on Carrollton. Fulton Alley, you talking about? Yeah, Fulton Alley. Fulton Alley. But that's on Carrollton. It's by the casino. No, it's by the casino. Yeah. Don't worry about me. And my, I'm going to bring you over here. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me and my map. It's set up to be a comedy club. Like, all the seats are pointed. And when you get a couple of laughs, it sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, okay. okay. You're like, oh, I killed it. You're like, nah, you're just like, I fucking killed him in there. Right. like, oh, you gotta take what you can give. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know. Hey right, man, let's let's get into some of these. Ty, we appreciate you um, yeah, sharing I'm your to... comedic experiences with Ooh, us so. and whatnot. Um, we're gonna get into a couple topics here. So first and foremost, we gotta discuss Draymond Green and oh, Jordan Poole. Cause Draymond <laughs> stuck this man. He called him. Yeah. I always give credit because he caught him. He didn't let him hit the flow. Well, he did catch him. Yeah. <laughs> but man, he caught him to punch on some more. No, he man. No, back. man. He caught him so he yeah. ain't hit the flow. Yeah. I, you know I, what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't think he got suspended. I don't know what kind of punishment they have um, brought down on him. No. Jordan got an extension today. Four oh, years. Yeah. Four years, $140 million extension. God. So he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. He said, don't worry about it. We got your money. <laughs> yeah. 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 We don't want to break this shit up yet. Yeah. 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 Give us a year. Just give us a year. And he out of here. We yeah. need a yeah. ring. Yeah. I mean, what y'all thought about that situation? I mean, he, he really stuck that man. I like, mean, I honestly, we just got to sit back and watch because mm-hmm. we don't know. Because for what I heard, they had to sit down. Between them two and everything like that, so we just got to sit back and watch. The, God bless you. Got to sit back and watch the 
the reaction, how they play with each other, the chemistry of the team and everything. I don't know how you get that back. I mean, it's going to be... Not after somebody hit you like that. I mean, you punch me like that. I'm, bitch, I'm calling 911 when I get up. <laughs> but I, for, for, first off, I don't want to get hit like that again. So, I'm calling 911 and you're going to jail. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, I'm pressing charges. Yo, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> and I'm suing you. Yeah, bitch, you got money. I'm suing your ass, too. I feel like Joe, he ain't still on him. Don't say that. He but ain't still that's on him. Common, though, in, uh, I think it is. Uh, I think so. That wasn't a I fight, though. I think it's common. She came with it. She, she came, came talking to me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, and they just did the man, bro. That was a cold no, shit. Jordan two hand pushed him before he stuck him. But you got to understand where Draymond came from. Draymond came from a far distance. Draymond as a teammate not expecting his teammate to punch on him like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, hey, back up from my face. You feel what I'm saying? Because you in my face now. You two hand push somebody. You got to be ready. Right? That's another thing. He must have went to a private school because he wasn't ready. <laughs> he, wasn't. <laughs> he was He was not ready, though. Yeah. He going to push the man and was still like, ready to talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The man. No. The man you can't two hand push the somebody. Man with his best punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he mm-hmm. leaned into yeah, it. Yeah, he leaned into it. That shit was nasty. <laughs> that shit was so horrible. <laughs> he buckled. Like it's, it's, yeah. He didn't fall back. He just fell like down. Yeah. Like he got hit and he just like cut his. That's just worse. Just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just fell down. Yeah. That means nigga knock you out for a split second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I, got hit like that. I got hit like that at a um at a rally's parking lot. <laughs> In <Baton Rouge. laughs> He hit me so hard, I fell on the ground. I was like, man, I ain't getting back up. He's just fucking over. You, you was at LSU with that? I was at LSU with that. Oh, and my boy, my boy was a long story short, my boy was at a party talking crazy about niggas from Baton Rouge. Oh, no. They just followed us <laughs> to LSU campus. Yeah. And we was at Rally's ordering hamburgers for 99 cents. And these niggas came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, they got nasty. And then yeah. everybody saw, everybody saw, and. I'm, thank God they didn't have video cameras back in the day. Right. Yeah, right. I would be a fucking meme, dog, for real. That would be a meme. Yeah, people forget that that campus is oh. right next door to Southside Baton That's the hood. Yeah, man, that's yeah. killing yeah. house. Yeah. Like, right next yeah. door. Uh-huh. Like, it was like. It was crazy. Oh, All this thing was about to the hood. Nothing, like, it was so crazy. And we got beat up. So my other partner who, I think he ran. He uh, came back. He came back like, hey, don't we want to get a gun? Fight over, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to find some dudes. He threw somebody. That's me. I'm your dog. <laughs> <laughs> you want some too? No. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I got hit like that. that ain't nothing nice. So I felt sorry for Jordan Poole, man. It was only that bad because the video came out. If we had never, so we all knew. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan. I don't mind Dream Mind. You know, uh-huh. I don't mind him. But um, I'm just. I feel like if the video wouldn't have came out, oh, then yeah. you know it'd have been fine. You know yeah, we know we know he punched him, cause they said that he punched him, but we ain't know it was like that. Yeah. So yeah. you suspending them? Y'all suspending them? I would have to. I would. I'm suspending Yeah. yeah I would. I would definitely have yeah. to. Yeah. Then he's not the big star. He not Steph Curry. You but, don't. You don't even want to know reason- what maybe Jordan said to him. Would that play a factor? Or are you gonna suspend him anyway, so, regardless of what Jordan said? Uh, huh. uh, I would want to know. I would want to know, but that I, mean, I still would have to suspend them. This is the reason, though. I would suspend both of them, depending on what Jordan said. What Jordan said? Well, mm-hmm. okay. this is the reason why you don't suspend Jordan. is because of the fact that Draymond is a leader on that team. Yeah. He's a captain. And it's just certain responsibility that you just have to have yep. at that spot. Now... Of course, Jordan Poole might be the most disrespectful ass motherfucker <laughs> on that team, probably. I don't know. Yeah, I do. But. Draymond said it. Right, but that's how Draymond oh. mouth. That's the same person that got. that kicked people in the nuts. Cause that's the know, same sorry, person. <laughs> sorry, to, yeah. sorry to interrupt you, but to put in the context, so Draymond quote said, he's, on Jordan Poole rookie year, a lot of the veterans was coming on the, on the team complaining to uh, Draymond about Jordan's mouth. And. Hmm. Draymond said, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> he did something about it. Apparently there is. <laughs> yeah, it's a little because bad, it's, yeah. Be, well, this is the thing, though. Is Draymond a trash talker? Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like one of the best to me. Right, and this is the thing. Yeah. You dish it out, you better know how to take that shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I, I seen some of their players tell some teammates some horrible shit. I seen mm-hmm. Michael Jordan really go in there and just cuss everybody the fuck out. Yeah. Corey Bryant do the same shit. Yeah. Like if you don't have no thick skin in I, that in that type of league, I, you I mean, especially I, if you the one that always dishing it out as a trash talker. I think trash talking and having thick skin can only get you so far as if that man wearing y'all last out. If he wearing <laughs> y'all last out, you can have all the thick skin you want. But he yeah. ran you out and he's saying, could be corny shit, mm-hmm. but he ran you out. Uh-huh. And your threat of being the third best player on that team is now in jeopardy. Mm. Third? Like, boy. Well, that that, that yeah. guy, that third guy on that, that team is in jeopardy. That make it worse. Right, so yeah. <laughs> that like, make yeah, you can talk, Yeah, you can yeah. talk shit, but yeah, the fact that you wear my ass out probably gonna have something to do with me hitting you. Mm-hmm. And I think his... What's the shit talking with no bad but, but I Exactly, <laughs> but I think his position on the team, like you said, is in jeopardy because it's a new kid on the block. And it's a new what? kid that's shining. And he's talking like, that mm-hmm. shit. Just, like, just five years ago, defensive player of the year, mm-hmm. and this and that, all them accolades that he had, and now he's getting to the age of what, 33 maybe. I'm, I'm really guessing. But he had the last year of his uh, contract. Yeah, yeah. And he knows damn well. And nigga ain't trying to pick me that money. You feel what I'm saying? If I'm the GM, I'm trading Draymond. I'm trading this shit. Ain't no coming back from that, as far as I'm concerned. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, I would I would trade him too. But mm-hmm. you got to get a value for him. Trade him to the worst to, team. Trade him. Trade Trade him to the Lakers. And you know, <laughs> I may not jeopardize this season. Oh, Lakers. I may not want to jeopardize this well, season. Well, that's but but that's the half and half you got to really look at. So it's the point like now. Real shit. Draymond is a pivotal part of that damn team. He is. Shit run. Yeah, yeah. Move is. with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just do. Screens, pick, the mm-hmm. passes that he do, the defense that he do. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you don't want to lose that shit. So I won't be mad as a business decision if a nigga tell George Aiden, hey, yeah. you good, but we need Draymond. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like we lose Draymond. We don't have another player to do this dirty work that he do. Yeah. So, I mean... I will hold him for a year yeah. and, you know, and do a deal next season. He not a free agent after this year? It's an option. Oh, he got yeah. a, he got a. I don't know if it's a player option. I think it's a player option or a team option. I don't know. Mm. But if it's a team option, you could do a, a sign and trade. And if it's a player option, he could just be a free agent and just decline his contract. And why max. take that chance? And he wants the max, but yeah. and I don't think nobody going to give him no, no damn max man, because no. he already got a max contract. So the next thing will be super max. Yeah, Cause yeah, he already yeah. on his max day, he getting paid twenty five million. So, right, so. Well, I guess we're gonna see how it play out. The 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 season about to start, so we're yeah, gonna see tomorrow, what they looking right, like. Tomorrow. Is I it think, official? It's tomorrow. I know the, the I know the Pels play Wednesday. I, I thought they, the Pels. I keep thinking the Pels play. You 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 so. the Pels. A little bit when they do it well, but I'm a bandwagon. They lost? Fuck them. Let's go. Like, 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 let, me tell you, let me tell you what happened, bro. I got bucked up when they won that little preseason game last week, and I contacted the ticket rep. I, have, I bought tickets right before COVID, and I got my money back because I was dancing with cancer and everything. Long <laughs> story short, I want a 12 game package, right? Nice seats, at least say $1,200. I said, well, I'm going to pay them monthly. He said, no, we need that up, we need that up front. Mm hmm. Mm. Blocked. I'm not gonna pay two hundred a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that good. Yeah, yeah, that good. Goddamn, yeah, right? You about to wreck my bank account? It's Zion already twisted his ankle. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I was right. definitely. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get. I told my boss, I'm about to get these tickets. I was stunned. I'm gonna get the twelve game pack. It'd be like third row. I didn't see that goddamn invoice. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> and she keep emailing. That's she emailing from other email addresses. Hey, Mr. Haynes, you want to start the season? Lady, if I can't pay $200 a month. What makes you I don't want to talk about yeah, it. I don't know. Yeah, ain't I don't nothing to talk, talk about. about. Yeah, so I'm good. I'm, I'm a Pelicans fan when they rolling. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to yeah. definitely try to hit some games today. I was thinking about doing like a five-game pack. Yeah, myself. yeah, they got them. I'm, they going to, them. I'm going to full. Yeah. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. going to go to state. Um. I wanted to go to Memphis, but it wasn't in that slot. But yeah, I'm um, going to state Brooklyn, shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to catch the Lakers in town. Yeah, I went oh, to that game. I'll go with up. you. Go yeah, fuck yeah, I'll go with shit. Let me know, man. I'll go. Yeah. yeah, I had a partner, bro. He called me. I got a text message my phone right now. My boy Glenn. That boy hit me up and said, "Yeah, we are gonna get a suite for the um, Golden State game. It's three hundred dollars a person." 
And I'm thinking, okay, it's a couple three hundred. This nigga talking about one person three hundred dollars. Oh, it, ah, nah. Maybe it might come with food and drinks. Though. Oh yeah, it's a sweet. Yeah, it's a sweet. Yeah, yeah. I don't know three hundred, dude. Yeah, my kid would have to be out there playing for three hundred. Something wrong. Something got to shake. Yeah, something. <laughs> Y'all ain't that good. <laughs> exactly. Uh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, I mean, curry plane? Exactly. You get, like, oh, damn, you get to a... drink all you want, eat all you want, and you, you in the suit. Like, well, you they they go, I you want to finish. Let me tell you, if I spend $300, I'm going to do well by it. Exactly. I'm going to be a pissy, and now oh, I'm man, hungry. Man, and man, 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 walking out of that. I'm going to be pissy for all. The point of me, these dudes, like, my boy, he got kids that's grown. So he ain't got these responsibilities. He could... Do what he wants. Yeah, do what he wants. I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't have that type of do what I want money. Right. Oh, I feel you on that. Do what you want money. <laughs> yeah. Do what you want money. <laughs> all right, man. So uh, I guess that's all we got for Dream Eye. You know, I hope the best for them. You know, they uh, defending their title. So we'll see how that goes. Remember Mike punched the dude in the face? Um, I want to say Steve Kerr. Kerr. He punched Steve, Steve Kerr, Kerr in the face. Oh, oh. Black guy. Black guy. See, Mike was a star, like you said. You can do yeah. that when you're a star. You can do that. Oh, you can do <laughs> They fucking gave C. Curl a fucking ice pack and said, this is your ass out. Right, right. Mike right. did his thing. Y'all right. not going to do nothing? Yeah. Mike, did you apologize to him? <laughs> nah, you didn't have to do that, Mike. No, Mike probably did apologize. apologize. Yeah, Steve, Steve, did you apologize to Mike for pissing him off? Apologize to Mike. Mike, man, he, no. Mike, man, he's sorry, Mike. Man, this nigga knew. Yeah. I, I think I remember them kicking Jordan out of practice. Yeah, yeah, they sent him off. Yeah, they, they sent him off. Home. No, they told him, they didn't kick him when they said, hey, Mike, just take my time off. <laughs> <laughs> they sent him all like to the crib off. No, nigga, he went to his <laughs> mi- yeah. million dollar house. Yeah, yeah. Massage his hand and shit. Yeah. Mike, just massage your hand real quick for you, Mike. <laughs> you, you know what Mike said? said? You know what Mike said? I took that person. Yeah, yeah. He, he said, said what he said, man. I took that person. He said Steve Cole was playing him hard. He said he was real being rough, uh, really talking a lot of shit and playing rough in the practice. He was wearing his ass off. Yeah, he, he was wearing his ass off and talking back. Talking <laughs> back? Mike, Mike is dirty, man. Mike is a dirty nigga, boy. Mike is dirty, boy. Steve Kerr was wearing that ass off, man. Steve Kerr must have got a little sneaky crossover on his ass. Oh, you know he do. You know he do. It's good move. Oh man! Exactly, yeah. He got that little sneaky crossover. Came up with it, put it in my face, and he made a mistake and made that shit. And said, "Oh shit, yeah. I made it." <laughs> I said, "Man, fuck Mike." That was different. That was different. <laughs> Space so. Jam about to come out. Yeah, yeah. You been doing that, man? Ain't got my tennis. Ain't got my tennis on there. You talking shit? Been. You got Jones on. You talking shit? Oh man. man. Oh, All right, man. so uh, that's funny. Yeah, we got to move on. Let's get into the the Redeem Team I'm documentary. Speaking of basketball, speaking yeah, of speaking basketball, of basketball. Mm-hmm. you know, let's get into the Redeem Team. I watched it. Y'all watched it, right? Yeah, yeah I, watched, I watched it. I watched it. Um, I was disappointed because I thought it was gonna be a serious. I thought, yeah, oh, yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah. gonna be yeah. like seven episodes of this shit. Like, yeah. No, nah. no, summed it up, and I see who who produced. I said, oh, that's why. Yeah. Can never finish. LeBron. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how you know you had a lot, lot more guys. You had Reed. Reed was on that team. Jason Kidd. Yeah. You had a uh, a lot of guys that participated that didn't really get a chance to especially say, Reed. say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, just a bunch of LeBron buddies. Reed was yeah. a Reed was a twelfth man. Type yeah. of shit. Reed rarely played. Right, but they had, you know, they had other people that rarely played too. Mm-hmm. It was just pretty much LeBron friends talking about that shit. You would want to have everybody yeah. on that damn team. Right, like, like Jason Kidd and yeah. um, who, who else was on that team? They probably did. Well, I was. I wouldn't know. It, it would be hard to say that they declined to participate. Dwight Howard. Was he was on the team. Yeah, Dwight mm-hmm. was on the team. I don't know yeah. why. I mean, like the white, weirdo. the white had a decent <laughs> career when he was. Uh, the white is a hall of famer. <laughs> Talk about he don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's right. He, really he look, you agree with him? Oh, I'm with you on that. One. I, I mean, he big and he, he just right. don't do it. He just, he just don't do it for me. Thank you. Oh my God, you said yeah, it right, bro. Do yeah, he just don't do it for me. Go just check don't. his, go check his accolades, and you'll be like, yeah, it's nice. Dennis, Dennis Rodman Robert. got something like that too. Yeah, yeah, that's Hall of Fame. You yeah, know. Dennis Rodman Hall of Fame. Right, but I mean, Dennis Rodman got rings. Yeah, who would you take Scotty yeah, on? Who would you take Scotty on? Dennis won with multiple teams. Who would you take Scotty Pippen on? Dwight Howard. Scotty oh, Pippen on. Scotty all day. 
I'll take Scotty. Yeah, yeah. you gotta so, take yeah, Scotty. Yeah. Scotty to me is a. I have to tell you this: the White Howard is a good player, and at that time, he mm-hmm. was deserving to be on Team USC. But I can say that they wasn't doing a damn thing to my homeboy came on that team. They was getting them L's after all those losing the semis and the quarterfinals mm-hmm. and shit to my boy Colby was like, I'm tired of Thank y'all. you. They I need, like that guy. I like that guy. I like that guy. I'm, I'm, I'm like tired that of guy. y'all losing. I they like need, that guy. They needed Colby. They, they, needed, they, Colby. Needed, they needed that leadership because yeah. they didn't have real leadership on their team. Mm-hmm. And people could say what they want about LeBron, this and that, but it's the type of leader people need to push. Yeah. Like, they wasn't working out five in the morning. Exactly. They, 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 yeah, they're going out and stuff like that. Yeah. They asked Kobe, man, where you going? That shit was funny. I'm going to work out. Where y'all they, coming from? They can say, we, we walking out back yeah. in from the club and Kobe down yeah. there with a gym bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and then look. For real. Shirt yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody, and then everybody after that looked like what? Not if Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Mello no, yeah. said, "I'm not getting up yeah, exactly. at <laughs> <Nigga, laughs> four." Now look, I understand what Mello's saying, nigga. All right, I, I, I'm fucking with it. Maybe that's the but difference between on, why he not a champion oh, and they are. Yep, you want that part right there? Yikes! Yep. Maybe you should have got up at four, Mello. Maybe you should have yeah, got up at four. Got maybe maybe <laughs> your your um, career will still be relevant. Yeah, because mm. Melo had the skills. He definitely he did. had that. Man, I saw this one in a, in a, in a Pelican arena. He got forty points. You didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. Him and AI should have been it's enough. Smooth. Yeah, just move. Yeah. Smooth. Him and AI well, should have well, been enough. Well, they had to run into Kobe. To noise. Yeah. yeah, but you know when you run into Kobe, you yeah, know they didn't. Yeah, they okay. Well, yeah, they did. They, yeah, they two they had years problem. in a row. Yeah, like yeah. Denver really was the Lakers' biggest threat in the West at that time. Kobe like Kobe will always tell you, like he hated sticking Carmelo because mm-hmm. he knew it was gonna be a mm-hmm. tough. Mm-hmm. Carmelo was a beast. He said, like he's yeah. strong, yeah, he's yeah. big, he can shoot, he a beast. Yeah, Carmelo was. It's gonna, it's gonna be war. I remember watching that game that they played against um, Spain and Paul Gasol, and I didn't realize like it was crazy that he declared that he was gonna run through Paul. Oh, you know, because mm-hmm. when I saw it, I was like, damn. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you, that was a hard like, hit. Like them, I'm like, that's your teammate, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But to hear that he like did that shit on purpose. But that wasn't his yeah. teammate. That really, that, well, that's what he said. L- look, LeBron mm-hmm. James was his teammate. Dwayne Wade was his teammate. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the mentality of Kobe Bryant. Like, yeah. at I, any yeah. moment, I don't fuck with you. Exactly. It's all yeah. about this win. Yeah. You that's feel what I'm saying? Was, yeah, it's like, it's, it's, and that's where people, that's what I tell people separate him from a lot of players. That's yep. what separate him. That's mm-hmm. why he's most compared to MG. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a separation. Like, no no offense, but it's cool to be friends with everybody. Yeah. You know, and everything. Mm-hmm. But Kobe was a loner. Kobe, Kobe didn't mind being alone. Exactly. But he came up. And Spain, the, the and that's he was, it. At, he he was already up. built for this yeah, shit. Yeah, he built for it. And the simple yeah. fact that he, went, he grew up in yeah. Europe, so he was yeah. already like it. Introduced to the the way they play basketball, uh-huh. international, yeah, yeah, international yeah, yeah. basketball. Yeah. So I think that helped a lot too to have a guy with experience with international mm-hmm. basketball. Of course, they mm-hmm. had to learn it in the summers. Mm-hmm. And another thing, I don't think Kobe played. A, it wasn't like no AAU when no. Kobe back in the day. I, I don't think. I don't think so. No. You feel what I'm saying? It was work your ass hard. Um yeah. And um, high school ball and. He used yeah. to practice with the Sixers when he was like 15, 16 years old. He was to practice with the Sixers. Yeah, he wasn't doing no AAU basketball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the only thing I heard about him, y'all heard that Kevin Hall story? Mm. Y'all ever heard that story? How Kevin Hall played basketball, right? He was I've seen a, that shit. He was yeah. a guard. Uh-huh. And long story short, he went to a training camp, like a summer camp, and Kobe Bryant showed up. That's when he was at Lord Mary. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, oh, shit. And so Kevin Hall thought they were shutting him down and locking him down and, you know, handling him. And the coach came in and said, man, y'all some sorry motherfuckers. Y'all need to be like this man. This man came here just to work out on his left hand. Dang. So the whole time, he was just shooting with his left hand. He was cold, right? <laughs> he came at training camp just to fucking shoot with his left hand. And they thought they were shutting him down and locking him down. I'm like, no. I'm practicing. Just, yeah, I'm practicing, yeah. y'all. I'm just learning how to shoot really playing with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You don't want this hand. Kevin yeah. was like, holy shit. This yeah. dude was playing with his left hand the whole time. So, yeah, Kobe was a different animal. Like you say, he came from Europe and came from that just being alone and being an outsider. Mm-hmm. Right. And, right. Yeah. And, and like I said, I mean, it's no secret that Kobe is my guy. It's no yeah, secret. Yeah, that's my guy, yeah. 
And it's no secret that I will put Kobe over LeBron any day. Yeah. It's no secret. Yeah. And I tell people, man, the difference is people can say what they want and this and that. Man, look, Kobe is different. It come yeah. out everybody mouths that played against him, played with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People will always <laughs> say this motherfucker <laughs> is different. Yeah, he's, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Honestly, I think that documentary helped your argument. Mm -hmm. You know, it really mm -hmm. did. I think that you know LeBron was already there and he wasn't really doing nothing to change the culture uh, yeah. of that team. Nah. Nothing. You know, no. even though he has done that, obviously, because, you know, he went to Miami and kind of changed and then back mm -hmm. to Cleveland. But, I don't even give respect for that. Yeah. But to to lead superstars, you know, that's a different that's a different thing. That's, a, that's, and that's what separates. Huh? Lead, lead alpha, alpha males, males. right. Yeah. Right. A team full of them. Yeah. You yeah. know, no, and Kobe came and did it's that. It's a team that yeah. thought they was alpha to that <laughs> real fucking alpha. <laughs> to the real one. To <laughs> come in that damn room and be like, well, that bitch did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I always get into that real gangster yeah. show. And be like, whoa, shut up, not a gangster. Right? Like, <laughs> it's like my dad is saying, yeah. you think you're crazy until you meet a yeah. motherfucker that's crazy. And I, yeah, and, I, <laughs> and I appreciate yeah, how, they, sure. how, on the other hand, they brought Kobe out of his shell. Yeah, yeah like that's real, true. Yeah. Shelter, he could be cold. All right. Yeah. And they picked at him, they ticked at him. And, and he needed that. he gave in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, he needed that because right. after that, he started putting ladies' career players under his wing. Yeah. The yeah. um Jason Tatum, the um mm -hmm. the, Devin Booker. The Devin Bookers of the world, the Kyrie Irving, yeah, the Kawhi yeah. Leonard yeah. and everything. And look at all these players they took under the wing. Yeah. They stars. They stars. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They going you got elite superstar players going to the Mamba camp. Yeah. And H like Paul George and all them boys that's top of their game, they going to his camp. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he was a different animal, man. And like you said, you can see the arcs of, of his progression. Like, he was this cold guy. And toward the end of his life, he was just, like, welcoming right. him, helping him and shit. And, and, and I think at that point, he... I'm about to cry. Yeah, I know. Shit. And, you know, and I, and <laughs> I think, and I I think at that really point, died, Kobe... I went to the bathroom and cried like a motherfucker. My son was laughing his ass off. But look, and, and I think... And, and, I'm like, man... Like, you know he when you... you know. Like, you know when you older... Yeah. And you already... You gotta be real with yourself, like I can't do what yeah, I used to do. Yeah. But I mind as well. This is what the fuck I respect him more. I'm gonna give a I mean, game I mean, to these justice. I might just went to church on y'all. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Just, just. <laughs> That's the thing. Look, I'm just gonna give the game back. Yeah, yeah. What I learned, I'm gonna mm -hmm. give it back. Yeah. He wasn't selfish. Nah. He wasn't unwelcoming to the youngsters. Yeah. He welcomed that shit. Yeah. He welcomed Steph Curry shooting threes over him. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. After, him. after they got him out after, of the shell. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But he had to get out the shell. But Kobe was under the assumption that people didn't like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came defensive. So, so he man, had to be built like that. So let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think, I look at LeBron. LeBron is getting more of a game. He's he, 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 he getting more of a man now. Like, he don't give a fuck anymore. He, to me, he's not trying to be nobody's friend no more. Mm. He started out being Mr. Nice Guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he's starting to be, okay, I got to take over the game. I got to do this and that. And it's, it's crazy how his progression went. Because I remember he would, at the end of the game, he would pass the ball. He, he did, he he did do that. eating them up. Yeah. He, he did do that. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> can't. Every, everybody Talk can about handle. I made the best basketball yeah, yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Come every, on, you, you every, you, everybody, T. You don't want that smoke. <laughs> can everybody handle playing for the Lakers? Everybody can't handle playing yeah, for the fucking other, Lakers. That's, a whole that's pressure that's within that's itself. Yeah. Playing for that sh fucking team. Yeah, that's pressure. Mm -hmm. Like you got to do what Magic did. Like people, oh, man, when you yeah. go to the Lakers and you LeBron, people is expecting championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like getting yeah. to practice uh -huh. as a Laker is hard. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Like fighting LA traffic, getting to practice. <laughs> yeah. They said it's extremely hard. Mm. Now for Kobe, well, you know, you know that's why turn up a helicopter. Yeah. Kobe well, take the helicopter. You know? Yeah. Well. But uh, they said, uh, if you ain't got no helicopter, if you can't ride with Kobe, you know, you just... It's true. Why you going to leave a couple hours early? Exactly, exactly. Leave in the nigga, morning. Nigga, did you sleep that's why, Girl, yeah. you know, that's why I think it was leaving at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. You know, like you told that dude, he said, meet me at 4, and the dude thought it was evening, and Kobe was there that morning, like, what the fuck wrong with you, man? <laughs> that shit crazy. Did I tell you? Yeah. Overall, you know, I thought the, the documentary was good. It felt... Slightly rushed or abbreviated or yeah, summarized. I think they could have took their time. Mm -hmm. I think they could have. I think a two part would have been. I think everybody could have. I think everybody could have had their story. 
Yeah, I think yeah, a, yeah. I think a two part situation would have like, been yeah. would have like been a little better. Head. Like like they they yeah. that was like took, a six part they situation. Took, yeah. They should have took notes from that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Michael yeah, Jordan yeah. and whoever they covered did everything. Shit, did yeah. an excellent job. Oh yeah, when everybody had a story. They covered everything. Yeah. You and they covered the the oh, the everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. I, yeah, I, and I feel it was a good job, but I felt like Britt said, you know, Lady B, it, it was rushing. I think greatness shouldn't be rushed. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Okay, all right. You know, I guess we'll move on. You know, uh, to to Tig homeboy Charleston White. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you heard he started doing stand up, huh? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, this I thought I saw him sitting there at the Uptown Comedy Club. I thought he was just going over there and talk some shit. I didn't know he was doing it. Like, well, it seemed like that's what he go up there yeah, and talk shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and okay. Yeah, but he started stand up. Well, is, is he secure? He able to do that? Cause like. I thought people was like licking the killers, dude, right? Probably. And, wow. But he's doing stand up, so I'm like, somebody lying. He's doing a lot of snitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, currently he in it with um, T. I don't know what him and Boosie got into it about. I think Boosie started defending T.I., I think. But whatever the case was, he, he was basically like, Boosie don't want no smoke or whatever, because somebody asked Boosie something about Charleston, and he was like, ah, I really. You know, whatever he do, he ain't wow. say much about it. And then somebody was like, you know, they asked Boosie about you, and he ain't want to say nothing. And Charleston was like, yeah, he don't want no smoke. That's pretty much what he said. And then he made a comment about T.I.'s son. Yeah. And they've been, I got to sneeze on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it took a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Charleston White, he got a stuttering sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he got a stuttering sneeze. Um, yeah, so he said something about T.I.'s son, and obviously T.I. responded. I don't know why his son is out of control, but um, somebody needs to make a fucking comment. Ugly. He called him ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But then he said, like, you, like, you, you and that ugly ass boy." Yeah. <laughs> but he said some shit. Charles White said some shit about. See, I saw ugly as hell. That's how you look at me. Goddamn, this man ugly. You can't be light skinned ass ugly. Yeah. He said some shit about I'll trade Van Martin your son or some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that. He I didn't did? Like that. Yeah, he said some shit. I'll do your son like Trey Van Martin and cut his throat, shoot him in the throat and watch him die. Oh, no. Oh, nah, and that's why I was like, well, you yeah, that's, that, that, that's way too That's why I was like, and so when T.I., but that's what T.I. said he said. I didn't see the video when Charles White saying that, but when T.I. was saying it, I was like, man, yeah, that's a little too far. Oh, did, yeah. But T.I. was like, why nobody not help? We see, if I T I was his, his people wasn't taking up for his yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his son think he hard. Yeah, yeah. But he that's, grew, but he grew up in a mansion. I hate people like that. That's yeah, so I weird. You ain't fucking built like this. Exactly. Yeah. Who, who you stop, trying to stop, like yeah. people like usually people act like that for a defense mechanism because of the, the situation. Mission in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. have, you don't have yeah. that the right. Yeah. Like, nigga. Yeah. You have every opportunity to do whatever you want in life. Didn't right. his daddy tell him that rap music, that rap gangster shit rap was just when I was a job? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 He was like, listen to that shit. Like, yeah, I'm really in the trap. I'm really you? like that. It ain't like that. Fuck this stuff in this. I'm really yeah. built like this. Man. You got potholes in my street. From what I can see, you know, he just, he real disrespectful. He you is. know what I'm saying? He went to jail or whatever. I feel like he yeah, thought that gave him street street cred on, yeah. on some shit. Nah. I'm like, send this nigga to prison so he could really find out. See, yeah. ain't going you to, know? Yeah. He ain't gonna come out the same. He gonna come out like this. Exactly. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't think he pussy. I think well, he is. I, I don't think T.I. is so pussy. I just think he didn't, you don't have to do that. Yeah, you don't have to do that. I think but he is. is. You think he pussy? I think so. No. My thing is why? Because, why because oh, oh. it's he, he don't do shit you, you old, 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 old school people yeah. don't need people to do their shit. Yeah. He be surrounded with Google people when he do his shit, talk shit, talk about. Oh, oh, he yeah, he yeah, be around yeah. everybody. Yeah. Everybody yeah. with him. All his entourage, all his so-called friends with him, mm-hmm. they be with him. So that gave him more confidence to do what he want to do. And plus, Stick to that bullshit, he got yeah. money. So he rarely was told no. He's arrogant. And mm-hmm. it's evident that he's arrogant. But I don't think he's a pussy. I can tell you like this. Let the what you mean let by the right, that? Let the right nigga try. <laughs> right yeah, it's him. just like it's just put like six nine. Right. What Pussy. You, what you mean? Put him in the room with, with four niggas. He gonna fight his way out. Right. I think he nah. gonna fold. He gonna fold. Yeah. I, think I ain't he say he gonna win the fight. No, nah. I ain't. We ain't saying. Yeah, I ain't yeah, saying yeah. that either. I, I don't yeah. think he gonna. Uh, I think, I think yeah, he gonna I'm, uh, call for that. I'm saying like, nah. I, I think. I mean, I think that he has an option. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think he has that option. But I think, yeah, you put him in a situation where you got to do some, some 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 crazy shit, he'll do it and he'll go to jail for it. But so you, you but don't think he pretended? I see what you're saying. I don't yeah, think yeah. he pretended? Yeah, he'll, he'll cross that line and yeah, shoot yeah, somebody or whatever. Yeah, he'll cross that line and shoot yeah. somebody do some stupid shit. Yeah, stupid shit, yeah. Like, you don't have to do it. Huh? Like, because he threatened somebody at Wi-Fi House with a, with a gun. Right. Yeah. I think that was just a threat. But, but come on, if, see, my thing is if you got hands and y'all have this agreement, you know, throw hands. I mean, you could put anybody in a situation that got a gun. Yeah, we fight. Yeah, you feel know what I'm he saying? Know, but fight, he, he, he be going to the next level with everything. Like, he just disrespectful for but real. But my, my thing is, like, why, is, why isn't, like, T.I. getting into this young man's head? Because T.I. went to jail about he 20 times. He said he tried. He said he he basically said he has done everything he could for his son, but That's now he just got to let life teach him. Machine guns and shit, and just stupid shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he's going to have to fit the sin. Yeah, he exactly. said he tried. He said he tried everything he could. And yeah, that's, that's wild. You know, he just got to let life get him now. God damn. Because it'll do that. Yeah. You oh, know? it'll do that. Life have a way of humbling you. Yeah, it do. It, it do. So is Charleston White, you think he's doing it just for clout? Like, just everything he do is clout. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's doing it for clout. I just think I just think a lot of dudes been been unchecked. Like that whole gangster persona culture. Yeah. It's going it's been going on long enough and it's been unchecked. Mm-hmm. You know but he checking them? We depended on I guess white people to check that shit. And yeah, he checking them. Like, you know, yeah, you mm-hmm. yeah, you uh I'ma tell on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not, you not going to be able to do what you want to do and and terrorize people and nobody say nothing. Mm. Yeah, now that's a, yeah, if, he, you know, if he defending that type of thing. Now yeah. how we go about it, some of the shit he say is fucked up and, you know, he, yeah, he can't get on the, get on the people's skin and sometimes be like, man, he ain't really have to say that, bro. But yeah. I just think, yeah, somebody got, I mean, somebody, can, you, just, you can't just, some of them dudes be doing crazy ass shit. Mm. Yeah. Gangs been running, ruining neighborhoods for decades and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, you know, like for instance, they had this 56 year old crip talking down on Charleston White. And Charleston White was like, man, I'm not worried about that dude. This dude, a 56 year old crip. <laughs> like, he lived with his mama and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta check that shit. Somebody gotta check that shit. Show the other side. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it ain't all good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I. I kind of feel him what he be talking about with the snitching culture or whatever. But I, personally, I can't just tell on nobody. It don't feel right, and that's probably because of my upbringing, mm-hmm. you know. But at the same time, a lot of times when you don't snitch, it ain't helping nobody that you didn't, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's a tough situation. So, I mean, if that's what he want to do, and, you know. I think he snitched for clout. Maybe so. He actually get paid, you know. But if oh, yeah, he, yeah, 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 what if he helping he people in the process of that clout yeah, and that man. snitching? Like yeah. trying to kill a, a thirteen year old girl or something and all that kind of stuff. He's like, Don't I think snitch. everybody's snitching I'm on that. Snitching. I think yeah. everybody going. Yeah, it de- you know, depends on the situation. Two people in the game and yeah, you this know, person you know, got dope bigger than yeah, you, dope yeah, and all this kind of stuff. That's man. that's some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe the snitching game have to evolve because gangsters have evolved, right? They're not the yeah. same. Because, you know, back in the day, women and children off limits. You know, if yeah. you're shooting somebody, you're going to hit your target type of thing like that. Right. And mm-hmm. so back then, you wasn't snitching mm-hmm. because that was the code of how things was yeah. was, was kind of yeah, built. But there was a code. Yeah, there was a code. Yeah. But now nah, it's kind of like whatever. Well, see, that was street cool. And mm-hmm. people got it confused of, all right, if a civilian get hit up, you got to say something but they took that street code cool into hey that's a general rules don't snitch yeah. and that's what people got and, and it's and it's fear yeah oh yeah you know, yeah that, that plays a part it's, as well it's fucking yeah. fear because you yeah. gotta understand charleston ain't scared yeah. why he ain't scared nobody didn't be able to touch him yet yeah he always on the run yeah, yeah. that's why i was surprised when you said he was doing comedy i saw yeah. a little flyer i was like damn you, you got you touch oh, him you just gotta crash out mm-hmm. a lot of dudes don't be willing to crash out and some of the dudes be protected too. Like, the dudes, the dude guys are, are fucking artillery. Mm-hmm. He got artillery. Uh, he he protected. Won. You know, he. he you tell me he got people? He got everything. Like, he made, he made, it depends. He may roll alone with him and his girl, but there's been time where he didn't roll around with cops. 
security guards. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, he had his pepper, pepper and see, spray. And see, when mm-hmm. he, he said that Boosie, and, and, and see, when he said Boosie don't want that smoke, he mean Boosie want that smoke because he always got people with him. Well, Boosie, see, when he said it was Boosie, he ran out of murders. You know what I'm saying? Like, Boosie, Boosie catching another murder charge. He done. Oh, he done, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. He said, like, oh, he, yeah. He like, yeah. Boosie, don't nobody scared you no more, bro. Like, you ran out of murders. Like, Damn. anything remotely attached to you could put you under. Mm. T.I. with the same shit. You know what I'm saying? T.I. like, T.I. lost a lot of street credit from when he came out. You know what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. just being in the spotlight, the reality show, a lot of that shit, old age, and, you know, mm-hmm. you lose street credit. Right. <clears throat> and niggas will try you. Right. And that's this is Charleston like trying to niggas. Mm-hmm. You know right. What I'm he, now his his methods is insane. I don't like his methods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like fucking with people, kids in that manner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like nah. Yeah. Cause he did call that man son ugly. Yeah, and <laughs> he did the whole fucking shit where uh, what he said about that uh, Trayvon Martin. Yeah, you yeah. Trayvon Martin's kid. Yeah, uh, Trayvon Martin shoot him. Yeah, you can't ass do ass that. Ass you ass can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. Well. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, Tom I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot from Charles yeah, White yeah, going Tom forward. Tell. Yeah, really you know, not. I would not be surprised if he's not alive in a year. <laughs> not saying, <laughs> not saying that I Girl, want anything to happen. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't want to say it and put it in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not I really ain't put it in the universe. Would you nah. say what I was saying? Uh, yeah, it, I won't really put it in the atmosphere either. But it is what it is. I will be surprised. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, don't nobody do it, but. You know, he, that dude in the trade. The um, level he on. That, that dude that died last, um, this year, earlier. Oh, um, who was talking about females. Oh, God oh damn, Kevin, Kevin Sims. Kevin. Yeah, he was like, they need a trade. No, you need a trade. Need trade. <laughs> like, well, I want Kevin back. Yeah, um, I want Kevin back. <laughs> Stop like, it. Give me Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Like, All I want Kevin Sanders. Yeah, man. <laughs> give, me, give me that dude. All right, man. Well, I mean, that's the end. That's it. Well, we got the what's your experience, love, you know. So I guess we're going to get into that. And uh, today we're talking about our experiences with haunted houses. You know, it's about that time, spooky time. Tig, you going to bring your daughter for Halloween to go trick-or-treating over here? Uh Ernest said you going to bring his kids trick-or-treating. It's a Monday? Yeah. It is. Uh, We don't really celebrate Halloween, but I, I, I don't think I'll do it. No, no. Okay. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah. Religious reasons or just that ain't you ain't fooling with him. Yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed my daughter up just to dress her up the first year. I think her mama did it another year. Then after that, we was like, we you know we never really was. I never we really gotta was dress a up. Halloween kid. Oh yeah, you know we grew up in that culture, the Halloween culture. Yeah. Yeah, I used to get candy and shit like that, but mm-hmm. going get the costumes. The and costumes. Shit. Costume, yeah, costume, yeah, like, you ain't gotta get no costume for to go trick or treat. I'm just saying it's easy for me to be like, fuck it. Oh, I feel you. Very easy. <laughs> 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 easy to be like, fuck that Halloween. Okay, skip that. that. We're gonna pass that shit. <laughs> All right, man, we're going to get into um, our haunted houses. I'll go first. All right. Because mine probably is the least uh, significant. But um, <laughs> I'm not really into scary things. Yeah. Haunted houses, scary movies, <clears throat> nothing like that. I ain't really fucking with it. So, you know, I think it was at City Park. We went, my aunt and my cousin, I went with my aunt and my cousin, and we got on the train. And, you know, they ride you through and then the people come up or whatever. I ain't like that shit. And so when we got off the train, you know, my aunt was like, well, we could go in the haunted house. So, you know, we went over there. We got in the line. And then all I heard was a chainsaw. And I was like, whoa, what's going on in there? And then people running out. I'm going to stay out here. Y'all do what, you know, y'all do y'all thing. I don't know what's going on with that. You know, and I had to be like 11, 12, 13, you know, young. I wasn't fucking with it. Yeah. So, still, to this day, I have never been inside a horn. All I needed to hear was them chainsaws. How old you was? I, I just said 11, 12, 13. Oh, uh, uh, mm-hmm. I, I, don't, yeah, I, I can't, learn. yeah, I can't fool with it. Because, yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, somebody walk up on you, your natural reaction is to punch. Yeah, exactly. I was a, I was the kid that had to know the end results of shit. 
I ain't. Uh, I, I don't care what the beginning result, the end result. You ain't not, going. I'm not going because right now you ain't going. I'm not going. What you mean by that? The end result, like the end of the. Like I gotta uh-huh. see what's going on in there. Man, what in the hell? That's that long. Yeah, that's uh, somebody at my doorbell, but I, I mean, at my door, but I don't know who that is. Is this a piece of will take? I'm just. It's not a piece. The timing was just immaculate, actually. Yeah. It, it was because I thought it was the sound, 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 sound effect. effect. Uh, wait, <laughs> I'm going to check the door, y'all. I'm coming oh, back. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was a sound effect. Y'all go on. Gone. Y'all go on with y'all's story. Yeah. Oh, he gone. So I, I, I'll go. Uh, so I had. I had participated in a haunted house. Uh-huh. To work, like work there? For the school, yeah, the school used uh-huh. to do a haunted house every year. We used to close off one of the classrooms and a couple of offices and, mm-hmm. and make a little maze in that bitch, get plastic bags and shit, get lights and just yeah. cut holes in the plastic bags and shit like that. And uh, I, like, I decided I wanted to be like extra crazy for this haunted house and shit like that. <laughs> and be hopping around and trying to like, my hardest to scare these kids. Uh Just running around from here and then, running around on fours and shit like that. (laughs) (laughs) Then the next day, I felt everything. That was like the the best workout I ever had, didn't know I was having. And I was like, man, this hundred house. So if you in a hundred house and you see the dude jumping around and slaying shit against the wall, appreciate that man. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You already know. Man he's working, working hard. He might and be he's volunteering. probably volunteering <laughs> for this shit just so you could be like, at one point in that yeah. kind of house, I was scared. You know, because so, the rest of the shit ain't gonna really scare you. Uh-huh. But that, you know, and I appreciate that guy. So every time I walk in the haunted house, I'll act scared. Right, right, right. If, if you like going extra hard, I'll, ah, you got me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know where that guy. It's coming from. It's coming, uh, he's coming from his gut. Yeah, it's I'm coming from the gut. You really, you really trying? Cause he in that bitch eight to twelve hours. <laughs> Damn, and that's a lot of time. Yeah, he may get a break. He can't breathe because of the mask and, and shit like that. So he got, he got to sneak off and take breathers and shit. Damn. Yeah, like. Oh, I'm yeah. scared to fuck out somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know the people that just poking their heads out like boo, they ain't doing shit. Right. They ain't, they ain't yeah. doing shit. It's the nigga with the chainsaw. It's the nigga with the chainsaw slamming <laughs> things around. And this is a real chainsaw. This be a real chainsaw. Or just be like. I thought it was a uh, lawnmower. I mean, uh, uh, a a lawnmower. Like, a leaf blower. Maybe uh, like altered or something like that. Oh, uh, I don't know. Or even a chainsaw the, without the blade. At City Park, yeah, without the blade, yeah, it was yeah. an actual chainsaw. I now, what they had the blades on. But you know you got to press the button for it to turn. It might have not had uh, no blades on it, but it was yeah. definitely a real could've chainsaw. Because he walked out of there with it, chasing the people out. Yeah, it could have been a dummy. Mm. Yeah, but I thought it was a, like a leaf blow that was just like. Nah, that was definitely. The, one, the one I saw was definitely. You definitely had that chainsaw. That's all I needed. Yeah, you ain't lying. That's all. So you don't feel like you could never face I'm that? I'm not thing? fucking with it. I'm good on that. I'm I'm the type of person that I don't understand why people want to be afraid. Like, why are you putting yourself in yeah. a situation to be scared? Yeah, life is scary. scary huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah life like, yeah. like well, that don't make no. That's not fun yeah. to me. It makes sense that it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find that that's fun. Where that's where I'm at with the whole, <laughs> whole house. Shit. Yeah, like, I'm not like my kids. They want to go every year, and it's fifty dollars per person. Oh, oh hell like, no! I, for Who's sure ain't doing some, that. You got some hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So you look at that. No, that a hundred and fifty. Then they got the ones, and like they slick with it. They do like a skip line. You can skip the line for ten dollars more and all that kind of shit. Oh, you know hell no. Fast pass. Hell no. So. Family of four, you might be 200 in the hole before you get them over. Yeah, nah. And like you said, and to me, it's like a um, goddamn um, stampede type shit. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got people pushing and shit like that. And I'd be like, man, get off me, man. man I'm too over this shit. You better stand me for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Dill. So, <laughs> got it. Got it. And you gotta wait. And then you gotta wait in line for about two hours. Oh, stand me. And it's October. Sometimes it be cold and shit. Uh, be but life is scary enough, man. Being black <laughs> in America is fucking scary enough. That's <laughs> being black. Exactly, yeah. Oh, Mr. Police. Yeah, yeah. Ride right around yeah. Jefferson Parish if you won't be scared with no seatbelt. Gretna man. specifically. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's scary enough, dude. 
Yeah, it is scary. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember I was um, 16 or 17, went to Chanchuba. Um, Hunter yeah. was be on Barry Terrier yeah. and, yeah. and the Rebel. And um, so <laughs> it was me and a group of friends. And we met up with other people, some other chicks who were yeah. like that. So, you yeah. know, we all know each other. We in a line with each other. So it's a line going through it. But they're scaring you before you even get yeah, in that yeah, bitch, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. you got the little kids mm-hmm. <laughs> coming out the bushes like, ah, right? So the chick that with us punched the fuck out of this little boy yeah, that came out the bush. Yeah, like, That's what I'm saying. And yeah. then he took Your the natural reaction was is- like, it's the fucking joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your natural ain't, reaction is the punch. Yeah. He ain't number 10. <laughs> Had to be. Right. So we got so we get in there. This is what I don't understand. Nigga is dark half the way. All we getting scared at is noise. Yeah. So the chick. I went in there one way and I came out another. Mm-hmm. The chick got me from behind, <laughs> holding on to me. And <laughs> I failed. Oh, and when I failed, <laughs> yeah. I knew I fucked Damn, up. He was not, I yeah. failed, my head hit he the was, wood. Oh, man, he was not that nigga no more. People started running over me. <laughs> and what? And what was the person? I, I knew came back and stomped on me too. Oh, man. Like he came in <clears throat> and ran yeah, back again. And, and, and I knew who it was. It was Peter, my homeboy Peter. Doom ass, it was his ass because I knew he was wearing a fucking 10. Damn, don't put Peter, Peter out there. Don't put Peter. You know Peter? Yeah. He played kickball with us. So, he can't play kickball. Yeah, that, man, fuck Peter. Man, Peter yeah, yeah. ran over me because I knew Peter was behind me. <laughs> and they and they in Chanchuba, they it's put you in too. groups. They put you in groups and they uh-huh. put you in. So he never, you behind me. Yeah, so uh-huh. they ran over me and I swear he felt he felt me, came back. And went back out. Everybody outside, <laughs> all I can hear is people looking. Where Pete is? ain't do that thing, is, man. Bro. I'm coming out that shit leaking. Dirty and shit. Leaking and shit. You said dirty. People, people <laughs> thought I was a part of the act. Oh, people that's... thought like, man, boy, you cool, man. This look like real blood. God damn. Yeah, man. That shit went bad. They had a medical tent. I had to get band-aids. Not a medical oh, thaw. Not the medical man. tent. <laughs> I went in there normal, went out there looking like fucking Nelly. Did they make you sign something? Huh? Did they make you sign something? Fuck no. Man. I'm 17. What the hell I know? God damn. And they had real chainsaw. They making sparks. And the dude, he saw him making sparks at me with the chainsaw hitting on the on cement. Hey, and he see, see that's nigga, I'm in medical need, nigga. I ain't right. Yeah, yeah. That's why my shit is over. over. <laughs> that's why he's going Did he stop? He said, he whispered, we got medical chin. Go down to the left. God damn. But he whispered though. We didn't want to break Kag all the way. He had yeah, to yeah, whisper. Give me y'all yeah, like, yeah, you know, God, God, like, like, you know that's they got a little shit. Down there, take a left, and they go take care of you. I don't want oh, to die. Man. If you die, I'm still right. <laughs> so, and I never <laughs> went back to a hunting house. It's not worth it, dude. First off, it's the price, and I'm in a. And I believe for that price, got, I, I need to get stabbed. You got traumatized. Okay? Yeah, like you, you like, like home, I, I really got to be traumatized or some shit. You saw, you saw the temple mm-hmm. coming at you. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I pass <laughs> McDonald's yeah. and get traumatized. You got really traumatized every time you look at that building. Yeah, <laughs> some nigga stomp me out. <laughs> stomp me out, Peter. God damn. Stomped on with those Tims. So what about you? What you? Man, what money. You? I don't feel like paying two hundred dollars for the evening. Um. <laughs> I don't want to be pushed on. I want you to touch me. That's scary. You know what I'm saying? I just, just want to go through and pay like $10 and get the fuck out and bring go back home. But I remember <laughs> the one on um, the, the old ghetto one that was on Manhattan at the church, which is crazy. A church would have a haunted house. Um, How long ago was this? This was like in the 80s. Because I was, I was in high school. This was oh, in the okay. 80s, so I don't know if y'all was born. But, um, <laughs> 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 but man, I was in there and um, it was just ghetto, man. It, 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 it was... It was churchy, but at the same time, it was like, you're going to go to hell if you don't repent. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not living that horrible. And it was, and so they tried to put a little Bible in it. And I remember that shit. You're going to go to hell. This is what hell looks like. They had some fucking cellophane with some writing on it and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the devil over here, nigga. 
right, bitch. So they tried they tried to church yeah, scare you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, man, that shit crazy. That's wild. And, uh, <laughs> we paid like five dollars. We paid like five dollars and shit. My parents really thought they were doing some shit. And like, you bring them to the haunted house. Cause like we we didn't do too much as a family, you know. So, you know, so. that's funny. They, 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 they did that all shit. shallow before, man. They had Jesus. A, yeah, 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 they had a play. <laughs> and my mama actually was the person that would just. Yeah. My mama sent all my sisters to hell. Yeah, <laughs> Such, that should be crazy. She sent man. me to heaven. You heard? Yeah, me? yeah. yeah Damn, yeah, a haunted yeah. house judgment huh? day. Y'all had a play on haunted house. Yeah, no, it was not house. It was a, it was a play. Oh, it was a Halloween. It was Hallelujah night. Yeah, oh no, yeah, not yeah, the yeah, Halloween. Yeah, I went to a few of those. Be so corny, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> but the play was actually dope. Dude. For what I can remember, it was actually good. When I was over at the church, they wanted to do that. We're not gonna oh, do Halloween, we're gonna do Hallelujah night. I'm like, this is corny. As long as I yeah. Yeah, it was. Kids got costumes on, they just looking and, like I can't and get I, like the rest of the kids. And I lived in a house with a preacher, so it wasn't none of that shit. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, wasn't yeah, none yeah. of that trick or treat yeah. shit. Yeah, see my my mom, I mean my wife. She tried to be my mom. That's why I was called. Real. My <laughs> wife, she grew up church and go to God in Christ, and they're real strict. And they, so I grew up Kojic. Oh yeah, so they, she tried to That's do that with our kids. Church of God in Christ. Church he God just said, uh, like, what y'all do different? Man, they got a lot of dude. rules. No makeup, no pants. Oh, oh, no, can't wear oh, pants. My grandma don't no wear dancing. pants to this day. Yeah, no dancing. Oh, um, sleeves. Singing? You can church sing. all day. Yeah, you gotta have sleeves. But then you sing. Yeah, you can sing. Mm, they, they sing. sing. They got, it's just a piano, no drums. Oh, they got whole, drums. Yeah, they got the whole thing. Okay. But it's the whole lifestyle. You can't, yeah, you know, yeah, can't go to the cool. movies. Oh, what? Yeah. Can't go swimming and shit. My wife didn't. Oh, so you can't, can't, you can't show skin. You can't wear skin. a bikini. How you going to swim with a Can't play cards. Yeah, you can't play cards. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I know your ass ain't in that church no yeah. more. Yeah. I've been left Kojic, that Kojic religion. I mean, I tried to play space with my wife. She was reneging and shit. I'm like, look, give me this fucking cold. Right, right. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. It's just really a, yeah. a cult almost. Mm. But it's, they don't consider it a cult because the people that's in it think it's normal. Mm-hmm. Like, she thinks it's my, my normal. Grand, my grandma like that. You know, she yeah. heavy in it. So, yeah. and she follow the rules. Can you dress a, a certain way around her? Yeah, I mean she ain't she ain't like that no. Yeah, why you got different. pants yeah. on? Yeah. She ain't that, but yeah. she it was herself. Like, so they was like the Clark sisters. Yeah, yeah they. Yeah, I think yeah, they grew yeah, up Kojic yeah, as well. Yeah, because yeah. Mama slammed the door and that girl face for wearing on pants. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. That whole yeah, that's yeah. Whole mm-hmm. yeah. This is the holy. Sanctified. But Kojic not the only religion like that. Oh, no, but no, women yeah. not supposed to wear pants. Yeah, There's a few, a couple other ones. But yeah, they probably did grow up. Grow up. They don't play the Hallelujah like they don't know. No, nah. You know, it's not, it's the devil. It's Can you have a birthday? Yeah. Yeah. They ain't Jehovah Witness. Yeah. Shit, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Christmas. You cross that canal, then then you go. Christmas and on passing anniversary is big for them. Yeah. Passing so. anniversary, you gotta come with that money. Shit. Make me feel like a prophet or something. Maybe Christmas to pass. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. So, all right. Hey, I can I plug something real quick? Go yeah. ahead, please. Um, November twenty fifth, Black Friday. I'm gonna be at Comedy House Nola. Okay. I'm gonna show you where it's at. Sure. But um, I'm doing. I'm taping a special. All right. I'm okay. Special is gonna be seven. Okay. Got seven p.m. and a nine p.m. show. I definitely want y'all to come out. How much is it? Like fifteen, twenty dollars. Right. Which one? Yeah. yeah. Chick Fil A. Tig, Tig, remind us. Um, I'm gonna send y'all. I'm gonna send y'all information. This is the price of a Chick Fil A meal. <laughs> um, we got, we got my fat ass. I'm thinking like, Chick fil A gonna be dead. Chick fil A gonna be dead? Why do you got sponsors? You got sponsors. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I'm gonna come too. Yeah, I got the fly and shit. I'm gonna I'm I'm do an official announcement tomorrow. They want me to do it tomorrow, so we're gonna do it. I'm done. Okay. Um, it's gonna be fun. I'm and what about your, your socials? Give them that too. Okay. Um, well, it's simple. Um, my Instagram is bhangs comedy um no, i'm sorry brandon haynes comedy make sure i got that right God, <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey, oh but well, my facebook is um b haynes and um i'm mad to go uh friend you on facebook yeah hell yeah let's get it let's get it and um and i, I don't I'm, I'm sorry i didn't have it together y'all it's all good yeah, it's all know, good yeah it's b yeah my socials is on um, for instagram that's the most active one it's b haynes comedy um tiktok 
I don't even know what it is. I just be trying that shit. <laughs> trying to get my daughter to get me on, but she TikTok tough, man. Oh yeah, tough. I understand it, man. You got yeah, yeah, you got rules to it and shit like that. Yeah, you can't say certain words. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's, and yeah. I don't know how to make the videos. Like people be talking over the videos. Hey, I was. Oh, the this. voiceovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but that. see, I, I've been in Facebook jail for thirty days. God so damn, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, I'm you. very polite. <laughs> like, baby, you got they that. They you. Oh but man. I, I, I recommend you not giving up on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I think it's key. I think it's the future. Yeah. There's going to be some money. You can make money. You can definitely <laughs> make money off yeah, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, I, it's, just a, it's just a better built app than the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For what it's, it's specifically for what it's for. Like Facebook try to do everything. TikTok, and, yeah. And TikTok is just good at one thing. I know mm-hmm. comics, man, that um, they'll do a show and cut they, they sell up into 20 or 30 minutes, second, second. Yeah. Um, and, and put them on TikTok, TikTok yeah. go and viral. They become famous and viral and get booked off shows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not because they killing it, because they got the TikTok when people yeah. want to come out. I have I did a show with this guy, this white guy. He does this thing where he 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 sets himself as his characters, like Louisiana versus Texas, mm. white guy. And he had so many people at that show. People thought it wasn't gonna sell out. It sold out. Then he had to do a Q a Q and A after the show. Mm. People wanted to ask him about his characters. Mm-hmm. Like he did a whole. 30 minutes and they say, okay, now we're going to do a Q&A. Damn. And I had all the comments like, man, what the fuck is this? They can say like an hour, they bought, they bought merchandise, he signed fucking shirts and shit. I'm like, damn, off TikTok. And I'm like, damn. We're trying to get our TikTok shit together now. Yeah, we yeah. were we working yeah, towards we that right now. You know, I think we all need to do it, especially as content developers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. All right, man. Well, e. this was good. Thank y'all for having me, man. We appreciate wow. you coming wow. for sure, for sure. Y'all have an open slot. Let me know, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. definitely got to come, yeah. come back, man. Yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Definitely got to come back, you know. Talk about one day we talk about these saints or something. Oh, oh, I mean, shit. Usually we do. Yeah, usually there ain't, we, ain't nothing to talk about right now. Yeah, we, <laughs> hopefully we got more things to say yeah, in the next right. coming weeks, you know. I just yeah, talk man. about the coaching bag. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what it is, right? Mm. Got talent, just ain't got coaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they say. Well, again, I pre- we appreciate you from the team to coming by, man. Thank we you. definitely got to come back another time, brother. We we in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Right, we time. definitely this in Georgia. Got this my kicks dope. on. This is definitely dope, man. Yes. Yeah. So we is out, man. This is the EBL experience. Like always, I'm going to leave y'all with something that I um, wrote. <clears throat> Here he go. Yeah. Look at Tig. He trying to see all the way from over there. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's a whole meme he got on his <laughs> but, I, but, 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 but I like it, though. But it, it, it hits you so. You felt like you wrote it. See, Brittany ain't supposed to expose me. <laughs> <laughs> she exposed the shit. Yeah, but you felt like it, it was from you, huh? It, it, it oh, felt God. like... When I was at Shamrock, me and my boy Langston and a uh, home, oh, I, I just asked the girl, was wasn't trying to holler at her, but I just asked the girl, was she move up call? Ah, oh, girl, don't talk to him. He got a cough scene in the back. And I was like, oh, <laughs> bitch, oh. God damn. He's moving or not. Nigga, get a cough scene shamed out here. God right. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, girl, he got a cough scene, what the, what the quote say, Aaron? Oh, my bad. I cheated on my fears, broke up with my doubts, Got engaged to my feet, and now I'm marrying my dreams. Mm. Okay, who wrote that? Hell no. Uncle E. Hell no. Bruce Fell. Right. Yeah. It ain't about who wrote it, it's about who's gonna take credit. <laughs> 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 so, this, oh, shit. this is the EVL experience, y'all. Like I say, love everybody, man. Mm-hmm. Never give up on your dreams. It's never too late yeah. to start on something. Oh, yeah, I started yeah. at 50. There you go. Homie started at 50 and he's doing a, a, an excellent job at his profession, yeah. at his art. We'll yeah. be at, at his show November 25th. Black Friday. Can't, Black, can't okay. Black Friday. Yeah, we're going to get out of the house. You can either do that and then go to the store. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> go get your shopping. <laughs> go to the show. Go to the store oh, yeah, and then go right. see yeah, him. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. gotta go to the store first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah My yeah. bad, y'all. I'm fucking you y'all. Don't get injured or anything like that. Yeah, break it out. Don't take directions from me. <laughs> get your outfit out of But you know, we're going to see y'all next time. Our next yeah. show going to be before Halloween. So I guess that'll be a little. Is more. it? I guess. Excuse me. Maybe. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's going to be that. So um, it's going to be a little bit Halloween special. Might tell a ghost story. 
Y'all got anything? We got any events planned? Yeah, we got events planned. So be on the lookout for um the kickball game, man. Oh, oh yeah. Right? Yeah, so you play kickball? I, I have back They ain't going on a cruise with us. Yeah, yeah. The, I saw y'all we, like the cruise or Yeah, like well, we, we, about, we postponing the cruise for now. Because y'all didn't want to go. Like, we literally would still be having Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm speak that, speak your mind, T. I, 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 I got you, T. I don't know who I want to give it to. No, I got you. I didn't give it to You him. simple broke mother <laughs> no. oh, oh, no. We give y'all niggas a goddamn look, deal and y'all frown up. Look, on we, we going to make some changes to the cruise, okay? Uh-huh. And we coming back. And now it, we got to go to Mississippi and back because of y'all ass. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't go to Miami uh-huh. and then go to uh, uh, what, what was the country? Ultra Rios right. and yeah. uh, well, it's different. Now we got to go to Mississippi and back. You know, <laughs> God damn. You know, these they, won't, they, won't, they won't go to Cozumel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. close. The 80th time. Uh, the 80th yeah. time? When is the crew? When is that crew? We trying to do it next October. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's so. That's nice payment plan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.